polynomial introduction. Today we're going to talk about polynomials. And what is a polynomial? A polynomial is a number, a variable, or a product of a number and a variable. Like we could have 4x or 4x would all be examples of a polynomial. And polynomials have special names based on the number of terms they have. So, like, if a polynomial has one term, it's called a monomial. If a polynomial has two terms, it's called a binomial. And three terms is called a trinomial. Just like a tricycle has three wheels, a trinomial has three terms. A bicycle has two wheels. A binomial has two terms. And mono, I think of more of a monologue, meaning one person speaking, um, because a unicycle doesn't exactly line up with that. But a monologue is one person speaking. And let's look at some examples of monomials, binomials, and trinomials. An example of a monomial, we have a number and a variable with no add or subtract sign. A binomial, like 3x plus 2, the binomial has two terms, and it's separated by one add or subtract sign. And a trinomial has three terms, and to have three terms, it's going to be separated by two add or subtract signs, breaking it up into each of these um, terms. So you can kind of look at the number of um, operation signs you have with add or subtract, and it'll always be higher. So one add or subtract sign will give you a binomial because you have two terms, and a trinomial is separated by two add or subtract signs, separating it into three parts, giving us a trinomial. What is the exponent of the variable for x? Well, every time we have x is really 1x to the first power. That 1 is always the coefficient, and 1 is always the exponent. They are there every time we write x. We're just lazy. We don't want to write it every time, but we need to know it's still there. We still have 1x to the first power every time we write x. Now, let's write down the degree of a monomial. So these are the ones without addition or subtraction. They're just a number and a variable or a number and a, or a number or variables. So the degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of its variables. Key concept today, write this down. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of its variables. If the monomial is a non-zero constant, the degree is zero. So if we have the number 6, 8, 17, something without a variable with it, then the degree will just be zero. And if we have the constant 0, then we have no degree, because anything times 0 just goes away, so there's no degree um, for 0. So let's look at some number examples of finding the degree of a monomial. So let's look at these three. We have 5x, 8a squared, b to the fifth, and 6. So 5x, I'm looking for the sum of the exponents of the variable. I just have x and the the variable on the x, or the exponent on x, is 1, so we would say the degree is 1. 8a squared b to the fifth, I can add the exponents 2 and 5 and get the degree of 7, just adding the exponents on the variables. And 6 has no variable, so that makes it really hard to add the exponent on the variable if you don't have a variable, so your degree is 0. We would call that a non-zero constant. So those are the rules for monomials. Those are the ones with no addition or subtraction. Now we're going to look at the rules for polynomials, like binomials and trinomials. And the degree of a binomial or trinomial is the highest degree of any of its terms after it's been simplified. So simplified meaning we took care of any kind of addition or any kind of subtraction, and then we looked for the highest single term. So if I look at this term, the degree is 4, this term the degree is 3, this term the degree is 1. So I have to ask myself what's higher, a degree of 4, a degree of 3, or a degree of 1? Well, the highest degree will be 4. So we're going to say the degree of the polynomial is 4. So this happens when we have addition or subtraction and breaking it up into different terms. Then we want to take the degree of the highest term. And let's talk about descending order or standard form. And they, these directions are used pretty interchangeably. Sometimes I'll ask for descending order. Sometimes I'll just say standard form. But they're, what they're really asking for is to write your polynomial in descending order by degree. 
So in this case, the degree of the first term is 4, the degree of this term is 3, the degree of this term is 2, the degree of this term is 1. So we have degrees of 4, 3, 2, 1, so it's in descending order. Um, over all the polynomials, degree is 4, but each of these terms we want to have in descending order to be in standard form. All right, right in descending order. Well, we have some like terms here to combine before we start putting in descending order. 2a plus 8a is 10a, so I'm going to combine like terms. And then the degree of 10a is 1, and the degree of negative a squared is 2, so they are not in descending order. I need to rearrange them into descending order. So this negative a squared needs to go first, then plus a 10a. Notice how this negative sign stays with the a squared term. All right, you guys are going to try this one in a little bit different directions. We have right in descending order of x, also called standard form. Circle the lead coefficient and put a box around the constant. All right, pause the video here and you guys try that. Welcome back. All right, so the highest term, we have a term of degree of 6, a degree of 8, and then a degree of 0. So this 8 has to go first, so 3x to the 8 plus 4x to the 6 minus 2 puts in descending order. Then I circle around the lead coefficient. Well, the lead coefficient is the number in front of the first term. Well, our first term is 3x to the 8th, so the lead coefficient is 3. And put a box around the constant. So the constant is a number that's not affected by your variable, and we don't have any variable on this 2 at all. It's just it stays minus 2. No matter what the x is, it stays the same. So negative 2 is the constant, so we're going to draw a box around the constant of negative 2. And not every problem will have a constant. It's pretty common, but uh, don't be surprised. If every term had an x in it, then we would have no constant. But this one does. Or if, like, your uh, lead coefficient, let's just say it was x to the 8, if it didn't have a number in front of it, your lead coefficient could be 1. All right, right in descending order, a new example, 4x to the third z squared minus 2x to the third z squared plus 4 sevenths x z to the third. So if I combine like terms, this first term, 4x to the third z squared and negative 2x to the third z squared are like terms. When I combine those, only the coefficient changes to 2x to the third z squared. The degree of this term is 5, and the degree of this term is 4, so we're already in descending order. All right, you guys try this one, simplify and write in descending order, a little distributive property before you add and subtract. Try that, come back, we'll see how you did. All right, so if we distribute 3, we get 3x to the third, and 3 times negative 2x squared is negative 6x squared. Then I'm looking for any like terms. I have x to the third plus 3x to the third will be 4x to the third minus 6x squared. So our degree of 3, degree of 2, it's in descending order. So we're going to stop there. We're good to go. We simplified and put it in descending order. All right, pause the video here. You guys answer both questions. What is the degree of each polynomial? And the second section, write the polynomials in descending order. Pause the video here. Welcome back. All right, for the first one is a monomial. A monomial, we're just adding the 2 and 5 to get 7. Now, this is one that messes people up because we have a degree. This term has a degree of 5. This term has a degree of 2. This term has a degree of 0. So the degree of the polynomial is 5. If you put 7, that is wrong. That is the rule for monomials, not for trinomials. If you have addition and subtraction, it's the highest single term. Write these polynomials in descending order. Well, none of these will combine. So I'm looking at a degree of 0, a degree of 1, and a degree of 2. So that 2x squared needs to be first, plus x, plus 3. And if we're asked to identify the lead coefficient, the lead coefficient would be 2, and the constant would be 3. Then the last one, we have a degree of 2, a degree of 3, and a degree of 0. So this 4m to the third needs to come up to the front. 4m to the third minus 3m squared minus 2. My lead coefficient would be 4, and my constant will be negative 2. 
what if I'm given a trapezoid like this and it says, how do you find the perimeter of a trapezoid? How do we find the perimeter of any polygon? Perimeter is easy. That's one you just, you add up all the sides. So we could add this x and x plus four and x plus four and x plus three. Well, how many x's do we have? x plus x plus x plus x is four x. And if I add four plus four is eight plus three is 11. So I have four x plus 11. I hope that helps you guys with polynomials. All UT spells out.